Hello everyone, this is Christopher Carrington from GMUstudent.com and today we are going to learn how to make a gradient background effect with our Spry menu bar and how to make a gradient background effect when we hover over the Spry menu bar. So have two different gradients work and like counteract with each other and look really cool. So in order to do this, you're going to need a Spry menu bar. If you don't know how to make one, look at my previous tutorials, I'll show you exactly how to do it real easy. You're also going to need Photoshop in order to do this. So you're going to have to be working with Photoshop and Dreamweaver. So if you have this stuff, let's get started. So let's open up Photoshop. I mean, uh, let's open up Dreamweaver and see what I have. So let's just preview this real quick. And this is the spray menu bar we're going to be manipulating. So it's basically black. It changes to yellow when you hover over it. And that is about it. So we're going to make it way cooler than what it is right now. So what we're going to do is the first thing you need to do in order to manipulate the Spry menu bar is you have to find out how big it is because you need to see how big your Photoshop file is going to be, how big your workspace is. So come into your CSS styles and your Spry menu bar horizontal rule, click this and go down to the third one, the one that ends in LI and scroll down to the bottom and you're going to see a width. This width is the important thing. That is 157 pixels. That means every single one of my cells is 157 pixels wide. You might have one that says something like 8EM or it's in EMs or something like that. Change it to pixels, play around with it a little bit because it's so much easier to work around with pixels than it is with those EMs. Because then we could put it into Photoshop real easy. And I already know the height of this because they're all around 34 pixels high. So now we're ready to go into Photoshop. So let's go into Photoshop. Let's go File, New. Let's make our width 157 pixels. As I said, the height is around 34 pixels, so let's make it 36 just to be on the safe side. A resolution of 72, and background components transparent. Once you've done this, let's click OK. Let's click F to full screen it, and let's change our zoom to 400. Now we have a big ass spry menu bar. So what we want to do is we want to make this gradient, make it a gradient. So you have your move tool right now. Let's come down to gradient and let's change the colors. So click this color gradient thing right here. And now black to white, uber boring. So let's change it to like a dark blue to a lighter blue. So let's, let's click this black and let's click the black right here. And let's change it to a dark blue effect. So if you want to be working with what I'm working with, you would make your 02204E. If you don't know how to change that, just highlight this and go 02204E. Just type it right on in there and click OK. Now let's click the white marquee and click the color. And let's change it to a lighter blue. That's pretty good. So let's go 0184BB. So let's click OK and OK. And now here's the really, really, really important part. If you want this to look good, it's got to be straight. So, you have it with your gradient marquee tool selected and everything ready to go. Click at the top, drag down to the bottom, try and make it as straight as possible. Then, right before you let go, hold shift to make sure it's straight, then let go of both at the exact same time. One more time, click, drag down, hold shift, let go. Now it's straight. Now we're good. So now you want to save this in your default images folder. File. Save as. Here's my default images folder. So I'm going to call it main underscore background dot PSD. And let's change it to a PNG so that we can actually save it as an image. Or you can save it as a JPEG. Whatever you like to use in your sites. I'll do PNG. Interlace doesn't matter come back to Dreamweaver and now we're going to insert that background image quality into our CSS. So in your CSS right under the LI where we left off add a property scroll down to the bottom and just add a property click this go to background image click on the right click your file main background and click choose now you don't see anything. You're like, Chris, you led me down the wrong path. It's not working. What is happening is this black color is over our background image. So it's not showing it. So we need to go down to A. 
So go down to the one that ends in A, click this, and take out this background color quality. Just click it and click the trash can. And now let's preview this in a browser. Looking pretty good. Click Command and Control R, and now you have that gradient effect. But it's blue. It's black, I mean, when you hover over it. Well, let's fix that right now. So let's go to our A hover. Oh, first we need to make it. So let's go back to Photoshop. And we did this by dragging from the top to the bottom. So let's drag to the bottom to the top to make the other one. So let's just click. Make it as straight as possible. Hold shift right before you let go, then let go of both at the same time. One more time. Drag it, shift, let go. That looks pretty good. So let's go file, save as, and let's call this hover background. Save it as a PSD. OK. File, save as. Let's save it as a PNG. Save, interlace, doesn't matter. Let's go back to Dreamweaver. And now we are going to change two CSS qualities. We're going to change this A hover quality, and we're going to change the one under it as well. So first go to that A hover. Get rid of that background color by throwing it in the trash can. Go to background image. And guess what we're going to call it? Hover background. Click choose. And now do the exact same thing for the one right under it. Trash can. Add. Background image. Right side. Hover background. And we are done, ladies and gentlemen. Let's preview this in Safari. Save changes. Command or Control R. And now we have the cool background gradient effect on our Spry menu bar. So this has been Chris Carrington with GMU Student. I hope this tutorial was useful, and thank you for watching.